This is It's Just Brunch. Welcome, everybody that's watching. This is our first one. Clearly, we haven't really <laughs> figured everything out yet. We are working out every single kink. <laughs> okay. we're, doing, we're working them all out live. Just <laughs> Um, out. <laughs> I am Kate. I am Zach. And I'm Colin. So we all got together and we decided we wanted to do some sort of a writing website mm -hmm. for us and for our friends and for other writers. And so every week we'll have blogs and stuff over on the website and then once a week we will have brunch with each other. Mimosas and all. Clinky. Clinkies. So, who doesn't love brunch? Because who doesn't love brunch? And brunch Why? is a great time to just chat and relax. Exactly. Um, so that's what we're here for. So every week we'll have a different topic. But first, how is everybody? Oh, cheers. Cheers. Um, I would love to hear first from Colin about, uh, you were just in fucking Trinidad. Uh, it was awesome. I'm still kind of there. I'm still wearing my... my uh, my hat. Does everybody uh, in Trinidad wear that? Is that like uh, is that like your your country garb? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you land in the airport and they say, "Hey, where's your hat?" <laughs> um, and and I say, "Here it is." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was great. You know, <laughs> I'm in Connecticut here, and uh, and it was good to leave um, this winter that doesn't want to go away. And go to the tropics and lay in the sun and see my family and um, drink. I just I pretty much drank from 9 a.m. to midnight every single day. That's what you do. You wear your hat and you drink. That's the dream. <laughs> I think I might still be in that dream. So um, <laughs> if, if I sound a little incoherent today, you know why. <laughs> this doesn't help either. <laughs> It's kind of interesting because, you know, um, when I was going uh, to Trinidad, I was telling people that I'm going home for a week, oh. which is um, which makes sense because that's that is my homeland and it's where I was born and raised. But when um, Joe and I were coming back, uh, like, you know, saying goodbye to my family and friends, I said, OK, now we're going home. So it, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting to think about home in that re regard. Like, you know, this home is kind of where the heart is, but it's, it's also um, it's also, it could be more than one place. Yeah, your heart is in two places. Kind of. I love it. I do too. Yeah, Sounds so like a blog post to me. Yeah. You, were you writing that shit down? Okay. All right. All right. At least we're recording yeah, this. How are you? Um, I'm doing great. I also just did a ton of traveling, went everywhere. I've been practically in my bed for the past um, month. Who hasn't? Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Hello. laughs> All right. Okay. Um, no, I actually, uh, this that past was to be a joke about Zach being a whore. Yeah, no, I I got everyone got that, Colin. Okay. Everyone got it. Good, good. Um, damn it. Um, no, this <laughs> past week was great. Um, I... We did, a, we did a lot of work on the website. Um, I, I was I'm really caught up on the BuzzFeed articles. Um, <laughs> honestly, I've read almost every single one. Um, which BuzzFeed quiz are you? <laughs> the quiz that I did was uh, which gay position are you? Mm. And I was doggy style because I'm very aggressive. Which I, I don't I don't know where they got that. Okay. It, it was the strangest quiz ever. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is your mom in the background? She's fine. Your mom's off camera, but thank you for talking about what she <laughs> No, it's fine. Um, she's fine. Yeah. She's got to learn. She's got to learn, you know? Got to learn somehow. Um, yeah. um, but I'm actually at five today. I'm going to see a channeler who is, it's not really a psychic. It's um, like someone who, she says she's like, it's like a medium between like spirits. I'm not sure or something, but it's someone that I know. Lord um, Jesus. Wait, her. What? Yeah, it's it's. Are you going know. to record that? Oh, oh no! The best part is that she records it and then she gives me the tape. That's amazing! I can't wait to see it. Oh yeah! Right. So wait, is it going to be a video? 
I don't know. I think it's only. I think she tape records it, but because I'm just gonna be waterworks, I immediately just gonna start crying. I'll say something about my mom, and I'll talk about a newborn baby, and then that'll be it. it be over. I don't need a video because basically I know what she looks like. She looks like Whoopi Goldberg in the movie Ghost. Obviously, and she's gonna be talking to Patrick Swayze. Quite the opposite. She yeah. just fell in blanks from there. Right. Um. So yeah, and that's that's pretty much all that's happening. Um. Right. That's it. Okay. Kate, what's up? Not much. I've been working on the website with Zach, and it looks gorgeous. It does. www.itsjustbrunchblog.com. It looks so and fucking amazing. It looks really good, and Zach has been doing most of the website stuff, and I've been setting up the social media stuff, so now... Once I've been doing five, shit. You were in Trinidad. <laughs> it's fine. We'll give you some other shit to do. Okay. Um, so once, once we go live and once this video is live, uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and also on YouTube where the videos will be posted. And Snapchat. And the videos will also go on our blog. So that's what I've been doing all week. <laughs> and Snapchat where we'll just send dick pics every time someone subscribes. I'm going gonna, gonna to handle the Snapchat account. So. Perfect. Oh, God. I'm scared. It's going right. to be rated G. Yeah, we'll think about a <laughs> G or gay. Oh, my God. oh yeah. So like people don't know anything about us. The three of us are all gay. So. Oh, I think right. they can tell that by now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Give mimosas. Colin's married. Colin's married to a dude. To yeah. A dude. yeah. I guess I'm I'm technically married, but not for much longer. And Zach is in a fabulous relationship. With someone who looks just like it. Did I ever tell you a time oh. when um, Michael and I went out for my dad's birthday, and my dad and his boyfriend, oh yeah, my dad's gay. <laughs> Putting that out there now while we can. Um, we went out. <laughs> Zach, is your mom gay too? Pretty much everything I touched turns to gay. <laughs> everything you touch turns to gay. <laughs> we, were, we were out to dinner one time, and uh, my dad's boyfriend's very social and talks to everybody. And stopped, but like he was talking to these. I don't, I don't know who the fuck they were, but they stopped. And my my dad's boyfriend said, you know, this is um, this is uh, my partner's son, Zach. Um, and then they went, oh, is that uh, his brother to Michael? Oh, no, that's not good. We I don't want. We don't look alike. Like. Gotcha. Yes, you do look alike. Yeah, you got no, the no, big we look hair. Like curly hair. That's you it. Got the big hair. Curly-haired white people all look alike. You're both Jewish. Oh, God, I wish. I had someone stop me in the street and ask me if I was Jewish the other day. That was really yeah, nice. that's a weird thing to... What did you say? That's a weird thing to ask I somebody. Said, no, but thank you. And they were like... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we should probably get to, like, the actual really? topic. Thank you and shalom. <laughs> shalom, everyone. Um, okay. Hey, L'chaim. So, L'chaim. L'chaim. From three Gentiles. Great. Before um, this is anti-Semitic, let's go on, Kate. <laughs> Backslide any further. <laughs> so I guess the topic today is um, life after the MFA, because all three of us, we met in an MFA program, Masters of Fine Arts in Creative Writing, mm-hmm. and recently some of our fellow MFAers put together a book right. of, I, essays, which... of, of essays about the MFA program and life after it, mm-hmm. and um, sort of... One of us is published in that book. It's not me. One of us is published in that book, and it is Zach. Yeah, so, so that was very exciting. Here's the cover of the book um, for people who want to see. I don't know. Is that clear to you guys? A perfect glare. It's great. Yeah. It's yeah. called Now What? Right. Now What? Is it... No, I'm sorry. God, yeah, I can see... Okay, great. You see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yes, I was published in that. Um, I have a small, like, micro nonfiction essay, but it's actually it's really MFA realness. It's called writing realness, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that's actually the tagline of our website: is bottomless mimosas and writing realness. That's right. Um, so, exactly. but yeah, this text is actually really, really great. It's um, I found it to be really helpful for people, especially writers who kind of, and what we're always told is that there's no jobs in writing. Like, what are you going to do with a writing degree? So this book was really helpful because it, it it looked at writing as, you know, kind of, I don't want to use the word hobby because that's terrible, but I mean, it also looked at the business aspect of it as well and how to kind of looked at it objectively 
And if you want to be an editor, if you want to be a publisher, or if you want to write professionally but still have another job. So mm-hmm. I thought that I think this is a really great text because there's not really anything like this out there. Yeah, and also, I mean, you leave an MFA program, and for us, I mean, okay, so there's the regular MFAs, and then, the, then there's the low residency. Low residency. So we always already were used to sort of working on our own. Right. For people that are in an MFA program and have that constant contact, it is hard to sort of lose your community. Mm-hmm. And, you know, everyone sort of copes with that differently, and some people just stop writing altogether and never write again, and other people do really well, so... Right. I mean, I guess we can talk about what we've been doing since we left. Well, two out of three of us are graduated. Well, I'm, so. I'm almost there, and I have to say, I'm, I'm, I, I got the book. I, I think it, I'm super proud of how it turned out. It's awesome. It's very professional. And I think I agree with Kate. Like, I think it's got so much for, um, you know, any creative student who is uh, recently graduated or about to graduate from, a, from an MFA program, because yeah, even if you're in a high residency or a low residency program, like we we were, were and still are, um, you know, I think you have to think about how do I continue to be a writer after I graduate. That's basically the question that it, it tries to answer, and I I just love it. I just love it. Right, I do too. Um, but I guess to answer Kate's question about what we're doing since graduating, um, I um. Uh, well, <laughs> since graduating, um, I a lot of doggy style, a lot of doggy style, and a lot of, um, <laughs> I am so happy that's a recurring theme. I gotta take a sip. Um, yeah, right, right. Ch- cheers. Um, cheers to that. The doggy style. But uh, regarding my writing, I think right after I graduated, it. It, I, like, tried to, like, be very conscious about, like, staying in writing because I was like, I'm not going to be, like, one of those people that stops writing. And I probably did it for probably, like, two or month, two months probably after. And then I, like, fucking lost it. Like, I just was like, oh, my gosh, I'm free. Like, I don't have deadlines. I haven't – I've been in school for the past 20 years. I don't want to be in school and to think about doing things like that. And now I'm – I mean, because – the three of us and one of our friends, Sam, have started a writing group. That's really kind of like pushed me to get back into writing, which has been so helpful. So I think that's actually a huge part of staying in writing is like getting a writing group. That's so, that I think that that has been like having a deadline, like sticking to it. Like I know one of our professors says she writes an hour every day, no matter what. Doesn't matter if it's shit. I can't work like that. Like absolutely not. So. I, I mean, that's what I'm doing with my writing right now is that I'm still working on the stuff that I'm working on from almost a year ago, but I, I'm i glad I gave myself some distance from it because now I can kind of go back and be objective with it and not just thinking, like, I have to finish this thesis, I have to graduate. I can kind of look at it and be like, all right, this essay is terrible, and I don't need to use it because I'm not just trying to fill pages. So That's really true, and... During the MFA, I changed my thesis a lot, but then as soon as I graduated, I felt like because I'd worked so hard on the thesis that that needed to be the book that I was writing, and I didn't want it to sit in a drawer and everything, but being out of the MFA and not having that pressure, it yeah, it's hard to stay writing, but it also gives you the freedom to take pieces from that thesis and change it into something else, which is what I'm doing now. Um, so the book that I'm working on, because I write fiction, is completely changing. And for a while, I wasn't writing it because I was scared to change it so much. And I was scared of, I was like, oh, I really want to write this, but I also want to work it back into the thesis. I was obsessed with the idea that my thesis had to be my first book. Right. But once you realize that your thesis is not a book, and it doesn't have to be a book, and you sort of break with the MFA and... Give yourself new deadlines because they're so important. By right. getting a new group, then you can start doing new stuff, which you guys saw from our first writing group. So that's what I've been doing is working on that, working on some short stories to try to get published mm-hmm. because apparently that's like super important. And <laughs> you know they do they do emphasize that in the MFA program, and I always hated that. But at the same time, I want to get published because I want my stuff out there so I can make a little bit more of a living out of writing and less out of sitting in an office. Because that's what I've been doing. I work full-time and I write. 
I think Colin should talk about like what he's coming to the end of the MFA. It's kind of like what it feels like to have to put together a thesis and to have to. Google. Yeah, and I think it's um, I've got the benefit of having you know um, talked to and, and and learned from the experience of a lot of uh, people who finished before me, including you guys, um, because um, that idea of graduating and saying here's my thesis, where's my MFA, is great, right. but. Um, you know, but the idea of saying my thesis is not necessarily a book was is, is you know something that I've had to learn as well, and um, and and it really helps in a lot of ways even with my thesis, which you know um, I thought at the beginning of you know my, this final semester I thought I was like I was like so done and I've written so much and you know some of it's actually not bad, um, and then I got my my first um, set of feedback from my uh, advisor Kim, and I realized that you know it was a lot more work than I anticipated. But, you know, I didn't panic too much because, you know, she has kept saying from the very beginning, it's okay, you know, get your thesis, your, the minimum number of pages for your thesis, and graduate, and then you can figure out the book, which is a really great way to think about it for me, at least. Right. And, of course, yes, um, we've got this writing group started, so I think that'll help me with con continuity once I graduate because I still have, you know, a monthly schedule of writing with people whose feedback I know and trust, mm -hmm. and um, lots and lots of mimosas. Yeah. Yes. And you'll meet Sam soon, I'm sure. Uh, right. Will Sam, not Boy Sam. We went to school with both. Right. Then we love Boy, Boy Sam. Sam. He's also being fabulous in France. So. Right. Yeah. And Sam will be joining for for brunch sometimes, I'm sure, right. and also yeah. as a blogger. She's a YA writer, um, and we don't want to talk about this. I write fiction, and Zach and Colin both write nonfiction. Right. And Sam is is YA. So I write these... fiction, but I call it nonfiction. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Colin is just a liar. <laughs> really? Put that out there right now. Don't trust anything he says. I'm so not... in the future, we'll have guests for blogs and also guests for brunch. So if anyone is interested in dropping in, we'll probably post our topics for brunch midweek. Right. Um, We'll figure something out. This is clearly the first time we've ever done this. So we'll probably post our brunch topic midweek. And if you are interested in dropping in, we'll, we'll you know, Google Hangout you in so you can. Um, yeah, step by. Get a mimosa. Right. Yeah, grab a mimosa. Yeah. Mimosas are required for brunch. So get a champagne flute. Spend the dollar at the dollar store. Do you want to talk about quickly, like, what we're going to cover this week? Because then I can kind of give people, like. Sure. Like, what, what what to expect, you know? Yeah, that's a great idea, Zach. Um, so who's we'll first? Is it, is it you, Con? Are you the first? It is. Yes. Okay. Well, wait, what are we doing Monday? We don't know yet. Just talk we're, about two. We're right. going to let people just watch this video on repeat. Yeah, that's what we'll do for Monday. <laughs> yeah. And then on okay. Tuesday, I'm going to um, write a little blog on something that has been a really central part of my MFA uh, education, which is finding out what your story is in nonfiction. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing to figure out because it's not just what happened to you. Right. It's uh, it's 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 how it changed you. Mm -hmm. But I'll write more about that on Tuesday. That's great. I'm gonna need to read that. <laughs> yes. So. And comment. Oh yes, please. Yeah. Oh, you can like, you can comment, you can share. So make sure to do that. Join yeah. the conversation. Join the conversation. You know, get involved. It's just brunch. It's just brunch. Um, Kate, are you, you're going Wednesday? I'm going Wednesday, and I am writing about breaking up with Joe March and Jane Eyre. <laughs> um, it's going to be about strong female characters in literature and finding new literary crushes. That's fun. You know what, you're too good for them anyway, Kate. Right. <laughs> well, ah. more, about that, more about that on Wednesday on our blog, and then Zach on Thursday. Yes, I'm going Thursday, and I'm uh, my topic is writing that terrifies you. So I'm uh, that's basically just about the writing that you don't want to do. Because I'm working on an essay that is really hard to write because it's terribly embarrassing. But I know that it's I know it's it's writing that should be happening, and I'm just going to talk about that. And, Great! Um, I can't wait to read it. And then Friday we'll do some sort of a roundup. Clearly, we're just really super unprepared today. So Friday we'll do some kind of a roundup, and then um, Saturday we won't have anything, and then Sunday 
we'll have a video to post for brunch. Right. Um, and we'll figure out what the topic that will be for that a little bit later. But that's about it. So, um, yeah, so check out the blog. We've got an intro post up there. You can go look around at the website. And then also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on YouTube. And we'll post the links below on the YouTube video here as well. So share us with your friends, and we hope that you will check the website out and join us for brunch next week. It's we'll just brunchblog.com. I'm Zach. I'm, I'm Kate. Colin. Oh. And, that's <laughs> and this is our right. first ever video. <laughs> yeah, can you tell this is our first video? All right, I'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Wait, are we going to chat after this? Because I have questions. Yes, we're going to chat after this. <laughs> All right, bye everybody. Bye. And cut. And we're doing it live.